Before I work on the tibialis anterior muscle, I want to make sure that it's really thoroughly warmed up. Uh, remembering that this muscle has a flat attachment site all along the lateral aspect of the tibia really makes me aware that there is many places that the tibia and the tibialis attach to each other and there are therefore a ton of places that there can be problems, adhesions, any attachment site issues and any uh, muscular fibrous issues along the muscle itself. The fibers of the tibialis anterior muscle run parallel to the tibia, so my first deep work is going to be to try to separate those out linearly. So I'm going to take my thumb, I'm going to sink down into that muscle, and if my thumb gets tired, I like to use my other hand to help out with this one. This is one of those techniques that is so helpful and has saved my thumb a million times over. So I want to use my thumb, and I'm, I find that I get a lot of good work with my thumb, but I don't want to abuse it. So I sink in with my thumb and I use my other palm for pressure. I also find that working deep into this muscle across the fiber direction is not only really effective but can feel so good and so relieving to a tight tibialis anterior muscle, to tight shins. Again, I'm using my thumbs here and supporting one thumb with another thumb and drawing oblique lines starting at the tibia and going down towards the table um, and kind of methodically making my way down the tibialis anterior opening up the entirety of that muscle. Making my way down to the foot, I'm going to use one hand to pull the foot down into plantar flexion and inversion which is lengthening out that muscle and I'm going to use my other hand to slide up the muscle making sure that what I'm doing here is kind of pinning it down and then stretching it out. So as I pull the foot down I'm giving that muscle a nice deep stretch and at the same time using my other hand to start to really separate out all that connective tissue that surrounds the tibialis anterior and then connects it all the way up the tibia. This is my version of a pin and stretch for this muscle. Um, I love this technique and right down here I think that using a specific thumb or finger is too painful. So I use my palm and I sink down into the muscle and then pull the foot down, stretching it out, giving it some nice deep length. Sometimes a client's shin just feels like it wants to be steamrolled out, and so that's what I do. I use a nice broad forearm against that nice broad muscle, and I flatten it out. If the tibialis anterior that I'm working on feels like it's not letting go, then I'm going to switch my technique and I'm going to soften it up before I sink in. So finding that little nugget of um, pressure that might be poignant for your client, I sink in, pull the foot up into dorsiflexion and that softens that muscle up and I find that it can really release under that situation. It starts to unravel a little bit more and I can sink in a little bit deeper. If I feel like the muscle is starting to loosen up a little bit, then I'm going to give it some passive range of motion just to remind it of what it does. And I feel like this feels really good to the client and um, it kind of resets what the muscle is doing and reminds it how it's supposed to work. The final icing on the cake, so to speak, to help the tibialis anterior really set in all that work that we've done is to remind it what to do and to give it some more strength in doing that. So I want to perform a PNF on this muscle. Um, 
I want to engage their foot against my resistance and I like to give them some tactile information with this. So I like to tap their foot, tap their knee, gives them information about where they want to pull um, and in what direction. As I resist, that muscle engages and then as we all know, when it lets go, it lets go beyond its normal state of relaxation. So last big stretch, last big deep opening for this muscle and things are really starting to move around here and flow on a nice deep level. This particular client that I was working with was still feeling some pain and some pinching in the very front of her ankle. So I wanted to address it and I was having some suspicion that it was attached to the um, extensor digitorum longus muscle. So I did some myofascial release just kind of opening up that front of the ankle and right into those tendons and then I had her flex her toes against my fingers so a little more engagement of that specific muscle and offered some opening up of that and it really seemed to help. It really seemed to release that last bit of um, tension and issues that was happening in her foot. <laughs>